Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're well and today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords, their personality, very competitive. This is someone who stands their ground, sometimes can be quite opinionated, maybe stubborn, clinging to their point of view. But they are strong-minded and they will stand up for themselves and their beliefs. Their, I don't know, their family situation seems to be very unstable. Extremely unstable, so... And I'm also picking up on a more youthful energy, someone who's still working their way up. They have a lot to learn here in terms of financial matters as well. And I feel if some of them are applying for jobs, they're facing a lot of competition. They will get there, but it's a work in progress here. And I also feel that this person has some secret enemies, perhaps enemies out in the open, but it's like a lot of people are against this individual as well. So they're needing to defend themselves in some way. So it's a little bit of a messy situation here. Their current energy, we have two of pentacles, king of pentacles in reverse. This is someone who is needing to get more organized. They're having a hard time balancing their life in some way. I feel like they need to focus more on their finances and get that sector together, which they are working on because king of pentacles is someone who's very grounded, right? They're working on their stability and building that solid foundation for themselves. This can be someone who's, yeah, see, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're not exactly where they want to be, but they will get there. King of Pentacles in reverse, please. Page of Wands. Three of Pentacles. This person gets distracted easily as well. They seem to be working in some sort of group setting collaborating with others. Maybe customer service is also coming through. But they're a joy to be around. They bring a very useful, light-hearted energy wherever they go, especially in their workplace. Right? People look forward to see them. Sometimes they can be a bit flirtatious here as well, or they're just very animated in the way they express themselves, they speak. But yeah, finances are definitely their focus, and they should be. <laughs> their energy when it comes to their love life, Queen of Swords in reverse, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like they're distracted by other areas of their life that they're not, you know, giving their love life their full attention. And some of this can have to do with past experiences. Queen of, Queen of Swords in reverse can be a divorcee or just someone who's been through some difficult energy, right? Backstabbed, I don't know what happened. Someone betrayed their trust. So yeah, they're a little bit skeptical, I'd say, cautious. They really like to take their time and I feel like they're waiting. It's like they're waiting when it comes to their love life, but they're not the most hopeful. So it's more of a pessimistic mindset here. They need to be a little bit more open and vulnerable. Yeah, they're, I think they're tired of these flighty energies. People that are in and out, they run hot and cold. Yeah, they're ready. They're open. They're keeping an open mind or they're trying to. But I feel like that's interesting. Let me see. Don't think they're ready for a full blown commitment, but they're open to the idea of getting to know new people. Yeah, they're not, right now, it's more carefree, casual dating. They're not ready for anything serious. And I already mentioned that they have to work on other areas, right? So their finances, we have three of cups, ten of cups, three of swords, the sun. This person's having to get real with themselves. I feel like this can be someone who's a bit extroverted and spending money foolishly in the past. So they're, yeah, they're getting real with themselves and things are being 
brought to their attention where they need to be more serious here in terms of their expenditure, maybe creating some sort of budget because this person can be very generous and they enjoy the finer things, right? Living the good life, but there is a need to reassess the relationship with their family, judgment, tower, very unstable, a lot of bickering, arguing. I feel like they're not on good terms with their family either. Some of them have moved out, right? Or they've relocated. They've left the past behind and they're ready to start new with the fool. But whatever their situation at home is, is also unstable. It's not built on a solid foundation. I don't see much support. Some of you, these people that are against them can be family members as well, right? Not believing in them. And also this person, right? I'm getting a little bit of a childish energy that needs to grow up. So if you haven't met this person, it's they're going through some valuable lessons. If they were to meet you prematurely, I don't think you'd hit it off because you're in a more higher, higher vibration than this person is. It's not an energetic, or it wouldn't be an energetic match here. How you'll meet them, we have world in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune, Magician in reverse, when you let go of control. When you trust in the universe. Because there's divine timing. I saw that with the other signs, but specifically for you, it's really coming through. So you're having to wait. Some of you, if you've been manifesting, they're wanting you to keep your thoughts positive. Always do. At least try and let your manifestation go and let the universe take control because they have your back. Wheel of Fortune is coming through upright. So there is a happier cycle that's wanting to come in for you after a period of frustration, challenges, world in reverse. There's lessons you've been learning. But you're completing that cycle and now they're saying, leave it to us, right? The higher power. How this person will be approaching you, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords in Reverse, Queen of Wands. Few of you, you know this person. And you may have cut them off or you've been avoiding them, block them because of their immature ways. And there will be a comeback around, or at least that is what this person intends to do here. Right, just take action. But for a lot of you, if it's a new person, how they'll approach you is... Giving you compliments, I feel. I don't think they'll be overthinking the situation. They'll just go for it, right? Flirting, compliments, you look good, you're hot, that thing, that sort of thing. A lot of communication. Yeah, those of you that know this person, I feel like there's, you're not on the same page here. If you resonate with the past person, they're still looking back at you, reminiscing, missing you. They're restless over you, but you, you're doing well. You're very empowered here. And they feel like you don't think about this situation as much as you did. That your emotional needs weren't being met in that situation. Perhaps this person was coming through as unavailable. And those of you that it's a new person, I feel like they may have... There's some disappointment that they're dealing with. I don't want to pinpoint it because it's a general reading. We're seeing a lot of obstacles within their family situation but it can be in terms of a relationship. But it's almost like you come in as a distraction, right? They were sitting here mourning, looking at what was, and you catch their eye. So there is a level of determination to win you over. They're intrigued. Some of you, this offer will be coming from a distance or a message from afar, three of wands. How you're approaching this, we have Hermit, Empress, Nine of Wands, Four of Wands. You're being vulnerable here. Some of you have been isolated or perhaps single for a while, doing some soul searching, healing. I see self-care coming through. 
But yeah, in terms of this person, you're open, receptive, ready to love. You're ready to come out of this hermit energy. You've done the work. And I don't see you having troubles with expressing yourself clearly, being vulnerable. And I see you being honest in terms of what you're looking for. And a lot of you, it's long term with the Four of Wands, a family. So you're laying it out on the table. I don't see any hidden agenda or, you know, things lurking in the background. You're pretty, like, this is who I am. What you see is what you get. There's no baggage here with you. Also a message for you, if someone's not stepping up and they're not treating you as the with the respect you deserve as the empress, regardless of gender, then don't settle. Know your worth. Okay, Sagittarius singles, next serious relationship partner, please. Illusion. Is it love or an illusion? Your reality may be an illusion, not seeing the truth. Madly in love. Who is Sagittarius Singles next serious relation? I'll come back to that card because I was feeling something in it earlier, back and forth. Yeah, there's this arguing not on the same page, a clash of personalities in their home situation. We have on and off relationship, back and forth between partners, can't make a decision. I see that in their energy, especially if they have two options around the time. So that may be how it starts off. But I feel like this illusion, they were in an illusion, especially when it comes to their finances. Like, they weren't seeing things clearly. Exhausted. Breaking point, tired of living a double life. Too much drama on both sides. So this is a third love triangle oracle. So that is something that will come through. But a lot of you, too much drama. I feel like that is what is going on in their life. They're very exhausted. Some of you work drama, home drama, combination of both. They're at their wit's end here. King of Pentacles. But I also see, because this is for a select few of you, I don't see as a main storyline. King of Pentacles in reverse, a married man juggling, not single, flirting with you, right? Literally is coming through like that. Don't entertain that. You're the Empress. You're extremely beautiful, handsome. You have it all, you're the full package. And in that case, they're saying, yeah, there may be some bad luck here when it comes to relationships, some karma that you're working through, but things are about to turn around here with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh yeah, workplace affair. Fooling around at work, having an affair with a coworker uses work in an excuse, as an excuse. And didn't I just say it's worth waiting for? Be patient, things will get better. Long waiting period. Rewards after perseverance. Some of you, this can start off as a secret work affair and this person has to release something from their past to be with you. I do see that strongly. Let's see if we can get more clarity. Who is Sagittarius Singles next series relationship partner? The traditionalist. I like this. Ooh, okay, some of you, they can be a workaholic, which is why this starts off as a workplace situation. They're always at work. We have their beliefs and ideas run deep. They are not prone to rapid change. They have traditional views and rules. I like this. They prioritize their career over love, often cancels plans because of work, likely to find love at the workplace. That's twice. Wow. The fool in love. Yeah, this is the energy they're in right now. 
this is what I was feeling. The man child or woman, whatever, immature behavior, doesn't have their life together, expects their partner to support them. Ooh, I mean, if that is the case, uh, look out, don't share your finances. Tread carefully in that situation, but I don't really see that with the traditionalist. More so just they don't have their life together. I was seeing that. We have the fool in love. They fall deeply in love. Will go above and beyond to prove their love. Love has often made a fool out of them. Queen of Swords in reverse. People that charm them. You know, Casanova type. But they haven't lost faith in love. Ooh, some of them have a really nice body. Yeah, they... Does it... Look, the unlucky. But I felt this in your energy as well. But maybe them as well. Has a string of bad relationships. They create problematic dating dynamics. Makes the same mistakes over and over again. Can be a mutual energy. I was getting it for you, but it can be this person. We have the alpha. They take charge in a relationship. Want someone who will challenge them. They control their mind and emotions. Who is... Sagittarius singles, next serious relationship partner. Some of you are meeting this person online. You'll have options. We also have clueless. So not knowing which direction to choose. So if it's not that they're coming out of a relationship, right? Which we're getting is just having options and not knowing. But they were looking in your direction. Chariot at the Queen of Wands. They fight for who they love, does not give up easily, can be defensive at times. This pretty much summarizes their personality with the Five of Swords, Seven of Wands. They fight for who they love. This person will be very protective over you. They can have a little bit of a temper here. I do see that. Some of them may be into martial arts, sword fighting. They have a nice body. I'm definitely seeing that. Like weight training, very resilient. And we have strangers, so you don't know them. We have a new lover partner, someone you barely know, someone you have yet to meet. The introvert, I don't really see that. One of you could be more introverted. They can be older, they want a family. And we have the trophy, we'll leave it there. They feel they're the prize to be won, treats partners as a status symbol, flaunts their partner among friends. I can see that. Hmm. They may like to show you off in their social circle. Who is Sagittarius Singles next serious relationship partner? It's like I'm seeing that duality. There's that soft romantic energy, but they show people more of this fighter defensive energy. Who is Sagittarius Singles next serious relationship partner? But I'm not getting the most emotional energy here. North no destiny. That's been coming through for a lot of signs. Yeah, this person may be in school or learning or upgrading some sort of skill. I was also seeing the third house. Who is Sagittarius Singles next serious relationship? Moon. Ooh, Moon and North Node. So definitely a very comfortable placement. And there may be a lesson here when it comes to emotions, how you deal with difficult emotions, being more vulnerable. Maybe something that you're teaching this person. One of you may be more of a mothering, nurturing energy to the other, and I saw it was you with Empress. It's like your love will be very soothing, nurturing to them, especially if they come from a very, right, chaotic home situation. It's like you're teaching them what healthy love is. But be careful, sometimes, yeah. Look, it's like a complete family here. Cancer. Very comforting, you know, comforting home. 
comforting home. What am I saying? It's like there will be a level of security, comfort with each other. And I'm also seeing, I love this, we have destiny, moon, and sun. It's like the emperor and empress, but this person's not quite at the emperor level yet. They're getting there. So if you haven't met them, know that they are becoming the best version of them for you. They're not there yet. I was getting man-child. But once you are together, right, we always have free will. You could always say no if you don't, you don't want this energy. But if you were to go down this path, it feels like there's a lot of potential because I'm seeing a family, the maternal and the father figure here. So it's like if you have a hard time putting up boundaries or standing up for yourself, I don't really see that. But if you do, then this person can really help you. It's like you're learning from one another. It's a lot of lessons here. Yin Yang. Who is Sagittarius Singles next serious relationship partner? But they'll likely want the traditional roles because they were coming through as the traditionalists. Whatever that means. Who is Sagittarius Singles? Chiron healing. Well, I already mentioned that this relationship will be healing for the both of you. This person's very protective and guarded over their family, their loved ones. So you always feel safe and cared for in this relationship. So if that's something you've been missing, then it's like they're filling that void in some way. And we have Capricorn, the boss. Oh yeah, definite love affair vibes here. Look at that. Fifth thousand, ten thousand. This can be falling in love with an authority figure, someone who's famous, an artist, a performer, fashion designer, someone who's in the public eye. They're being recognized. But we also have two, right? The thrones. So it can be power couple. You both will be well known for some creative project, some talent. But whatever this person does or will be doing seems like a lot of fun. They enjoy what they do. Life is a party. Or it will be. 